before you skip through this entire video and just watch the stuff you like, make sure you watch the ending because there's something very exciting that you're not going to want to miss. What's going on everyone? First off, if you are not subscribed and you are watching, I don't like you. Just kidding. Today is going to be a very exciting video and definitely one of my top five questions that I've been asked, especially this past year. So I'm going to tackle hopefully a chunk of those questions with, today vid with, today with today's video, which is my white tail setup for Sika gear. What I wear, what I wore this past season, conditions, weather, temperature, the whole nine yards. So what I'm going to do is kind of walk through the season, walk through the calendar, and with that it's going to be the weather changes, kind of what I wear. So starting out, first things first, is the brand new early season white tail lineup that I actually wore the entire time on my early season hunt over in Missouri. So with this setup, I have their shirt right here, which is so lightweight. It reminds me almost like a, um, a fishing type shirt, you know, like you're down in Florida that you're wearing, um, but it just buttons up and uh, it's super, super lightweight. I mean, when I was hunting in Missouri, it was 90 degrees and I was just wearing like a t-shirt or even I would, no t-shirt, I would just wear this if it was super hot um, and then just rock this and it was so killer bottomed off with this early season white tail shirt or the early season white tail pants. These are super dope, super lightweight. They have uh, vents in all the right places and it's super just like lightweight and stuff. And I actually wore these through the beginning part of the Michigan season uh, when it was like in the 60s and stuff and just wore one thin little uh, base layer underneath it and it worked super good. So it's kind of like multi-purpose, can layer maybe like one layer underneath and it works just right. So next I want to talk about just some uh, base layer stuff. Uh, this year I ran like the merino layers and it's the, the difference between like the merino and the regular base layers is incredible warmth, um, like smell, odor and stuff. It, it, it lasts a lot longer and it's a lot warmer in my opinion. Um, so like I have the lightweight, um, which is like super light, not as light as early season white tail. It is definitely a little bit to it. And then I also have the heavyweight stuff. It's a lightweight bottom, super light, super small. Like you can compress it way down to like fit in your hands. So that's super nice and really just like for moisture wicking and stuff. I pretty much am always wearing a base layer unless it's like super, you know, warm, 80 degrees, 90 degrees. So uh, the merino stuff would definitely choose over just our regular base layer stuff. Up next, moving into maybe like a little colder temperatures, beginning of October and of September, is the Fanatic hoodie. Pretty much the workhorse hoodie. Wear it almost every single time you go hunting once the weather gets down to the correct temperatures. So this thing's just straight up ninja mode. So if you zip it all the way up, you have the face mask built in, which is killer. And then you also have the hood, which is 100% killer. You can go full ninja and especially like what I love about like this face mask and everything is a lot of times you'll wear just this out to the stand if it's like 60 degrees, but like right at dusk it dips down and the sun goes down and gets cold. So you just put up your hood and your face mask or whatever and you get warm or if it's windy or really whatever. Basically what I'm trying to say is I wear this almost every single time this hoodie I go in the stand. So it's base layer, then this because it gives you the hood, the face mask, the overall. It's super tight for shooting with a bow or anything. I don't like to shoot with the face mask and stuff. I have before, so I'll take that away, but um, super tight. You also have the built-in built in, built in um, glove thing right there, which is pretty killer. I use that sometimes, not a lot, but I do sometimes. Um, and then obviously the hand muff thing, which is killer. But overall, this thing is an absolute workhorse. Next thing I snagged up actually like last year, I think it was, is the Fanatic Vest. No, Stratus Vest, I'm sorry. This is the Stratus Vest. The Fanatic Vest is a little more. Stratus Vest is just like your typical vest. And what I like to do if it's like mid temperature, I'll throw this in the backpack in case it's like a little colder and I'll throw this right over the Fanatic hoodie. And uh, I won't zip it up that much. But uh, this dude is just killer extra warmth. 
pocket right there. Pretty much all Sika gear has that pocket right there, which is killer. Put your cell phone or little batteries or whatever. I keep camera batteries in there. But uh, this vest is definitely a must have. Really, these, these two layers are a must have for like beginning October season. Like just they're, they're must haves. So as we're getting colder and colder throughout the season, I'll switch up my pant system to the Stratus pant. I absolutely love these. I feel like these are just your overall workhorse of a pant. You can wear them in pretty warm conditions, just like with nothing underneath, and you can layer up to wear them in pretty cold conditions. They're, they're like a, a, a medium thickness. I don't know, it's like micro fleece something. Not the like fanatic texture, but like still a, a quiet, soft texture. Next, we're moving deeper into October in the Midwest. It's getting a little bit colder. You're starting to get that hand numbs when you're on Instagram too long. You know what I'm talking about. That time of year. New for this year for Sick of Gear is they came out with the uh, Equinox hoodie, which it's not really a hoodie. It's more of like a jacket and they may call it the jacket. I forget. It's like the Equinox hoodie jacket thing, but it's really awesome, especially paired up with the Fanatic hoodie underneath, just the Fanatic hoodie underneath, this over top, you're pretty much good down to like, you're pretty much good down to like 40 degrees, 35 degrees. And just like the Fanatic hoodie, well the Fanatic hoodie, this is their hoodie. Uh, Equinox hoodie also has a hoodie with a built-in um, face mask thing right here, but I don't wanna put it on because I'm getting very warm right now. But it's super tight, it's very quiet. Like it's very, it doesn't have the micro fleece, but it's like incredibly quiet. Like this, this is like the ninja jacket where like, do all maybe layer a little bit more underneath can hunt you know probably into november with just this setup stratus pant um and it's it's just killer i wore it a lot last year um and if i had to choose if you if you could get just one piece of sick of gear like i want one jacket that like you know i like wear it with with nothing underneath like maybe early and a little bit later i'll wear some stuff underneath it i would have to say this hoodie is probably it you can see it's like pretty soft and and warm on the inside. So, I don't know, it's kinda like a do-all jacket hoodie. I really like this piece. Now we're getting in November. It's cold, it's 20s in the morning, and no doubt this is my favorite sick of gear setup during the rut. The complete Fanatic system, fully rigged out. It's like, it's just killer. Warm, super quiet, and especially with their new Fanatic bibs that just came out, the new like, way they cut everything is just like super super quiet so what i'll normally do is run a pair of merino base layers either the light one or the heavy one just depending on how cold it actually is throw these guys on and it is i'm inside right now and it's i'm getting hot taking on all these clothes so this, I absolutely love. The bibs, even though they're like big and stuff, they're so quiet to move around. And like I said, like make sure you check out the new ones when you're looking at these because they even cut out like inside of your legs and stuff for walking, like they paid attention, changed the different fabrics on the outside of where your most movement is to really like ninja. This is like some ninja stuff that they're doing. So here's the jacket, which is just stupid warm. Like this thing, it's not like the incinerator, if you're familiar with Sika, they have like the incinerator series. It's not, that's like stupid warm. This though is like semi half stupid warm. So pretty much November long, as long as it's like super cold in the morning, 20s in the morning, gets up to 45, you know, even like 50 degrees, you take the jacket off and just run the bibs. This is my setup, you know, it's super tight. It's awesome for shooting. What I typically do is like, you can shoot with that all the way up for bow hunting and stuff. I typically like to get that down and fold it in still a little bit. Um, and actually on the new one, they have a cool system for that. But I mean, super quiet. Moving around, the pocket in here is stupid warm because it's, I keep saying stupid. The fuzzy on the inside is just awesome. It has a phone pocket in there has multiple pockets in here, grunt tube and stuff. So 
this just this whole setup if you're like a diehard whitetail hunter in november and you don't have this also what i like to do and you you've seen in my videos before is and probably one of the most asked questions is what's that what's that tan jacket that you're wearing like what that's not really like a whitetail piece or anything so this jacket right here is the kelvin light hoodie jacket it's like a down type puffy jacket thing i actually got it for like out west or a mid layer but it's just such an awesome like uncomfortable layer like i don't know how to explain it it's tight and it's just form fitting and super quiet so what i've been doing is running fanatic hoodie with this on the outside for when the temperatures are like moderate like not like super cold but like a good november day i would say and i'd still wear my fanatic bibs and i just put this underneath and um it's a little bit more slim than the fanatic jacket it's still super quiet super form-fitting i don't know i just really enjoyed running this setup a lot last november when it's not quite cold enough let's say for the fanatic jacket but this was great and if it's like stupid cold like i sat like five degree weathers a couple times i'll actually ditch the fanatic hoodie just run the kelvin light and then put on my fanatic jacket on top of it so that's like super super warm like sit all day no problem really warm some gloves that i've been wearing pretty much the entire season are the fanatic gloves and these gloves are awesome because it has the finger and the thumb exposed so you know like when you're sitting in the tree stand on the gram you can just like you know scroll through it light comment whatever these gloves i pretty much wore all season long climbing around tree stands and everything and they have no wear whatsoever and they're pretty warm um, and it's in and out of the pockets and then you pull out shoot the bark put it back in selfie it's just like these gloves are killer and then if it's just too cold for those gloves like those fingers you're not no no instagram that day type day because it's just too cold to take your hands out i'll run the stratus gloves which are a little bit warmer no fingers are exposed um, but it does have like tighter fingertips for like when you have to like tie your shoes or something you know but uh, these gloves are really good. I wear these a lot, especially if I'm like walking in and out of the tree stands or have to like do something when it's snowy or whatever. These gloves are really good. Also a must, must, must have, like I, I wear this all the time, especially if it's like super cold and windy, the neck gaiter. Like this saves, this saves your face. Like when it's windy and it's like in your face, north wind right in your face, 15 mile an hour on November 11th, this dude, it's a moss, super soft on the inside. Like, it's just like, it's like baby, baby face soft. So that's a must have, definitely. Last but not least, the backpack. I run the, the bigger backpack. I think this is the toolbox just cause I got a bunch of camera gear and everything. But this backpack has been awesome. I think this is my second or third year running it. And um, it's big, you know, it's, it's bigger. If you just want a smaller one, I go with their smaller option of the two. <clears throat> but as like a carry everything camera gear and like all day sit snacks like extra battery so you can do the Instagram and everything like this thing is pretty killer and um, still have a bunch of stuff in it but super organize everything and like put everything in the correct place so yeah so I'm profusely sweating right now because of all this sick of gear on um, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know you guys have been asking a ton of questions about this, so I figured I'd just do one video on like all my whitetail stuff. And I know there's gonna be tons of comments of like, this stuff is so expensive, this is ridiculous. And I understand, like if you've been following me and like I've answered it a couple times on like Instagram stories, like it's expensive, like no doubt. And I don't want you to go out and buy it and break, break your bank and not have any money. But this stuff is really for like the serious bow hunters, the one that will do like crazy stuff, like, <laughs> you know, walk out two hours before in the dark, get in the stand, sit there. Like the serious bow hunters that will help them sit out longer, be quieter, and overall more functional in the whitetail woods. And that's why, that's why I use it because it's like, it just helps you hunt longer and better and more efficiently. Um, so if you think that's silly, that's fine. But I think that Sick of Gear thinks about everything. So it's functionality, warmth, concealability everything so hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions um, i'll leave a link below to uh, the different different articles of clothing below and i'll see you guys 
next time. You thought you were done? Well, because we just broke 30,000 subscribers and also 20,000 subscribers on Instagram pretty much at the same time, I'm gonna be giving away an Equinox hoodie to one of you lucky viewers. So all you have to do to enter, this is all you gotta do to enter, leave a comment below, either if, whatever you mainly hunt, if it's whitetail, if it's mule deer, or if it's like waterfowl, whatever, whatever you mainly hunt, or if you're like overseas in South Africa, like what's your favorite animal hunt over there? Leave a comment below, and in one week's time, seven days from watching this video when I upload it, I will pick a one lucky winner, and I'll send them this, and several other winners to win a couple sick hats. So make sure, leave a comment below. Thank you again for watching, and we'll for sure now catch you guys next time.